Hey guys, it's Kristen. So today I'm gonna to show you a very fast way to roll your yarn. If you are a crocheter or a knitter, you know the nightmare that yarn can be. Sometimes you'll get yarn that, you know, just comes out really easily and it's totally fine the whole time. And then other times you get yarn that you'll pull a chunk out and there's a ginormous knot. Um, and that'll happen to you every five feet or so. So it makes trying to do your project really frustrating because you have to constantly stop and undo the knot. So um, a lot of you probably roll your yarn if you're like me, where you kind of just roll it around your fingers, um, you know, and just keep rolling it until you form a ball. This is not only time consuming, but your wrists and your fingers and everything will start to hurt after a while. So I wanted to tell you guys about this really fast solution and to be honest, it's pretty fun to do too. Way more fun than doing it by hand. For this project, all you will need is going to be a paper towel roll or maybe a toilet paper roll. Um, then you need a hand mixer and you'll need a whisk that can go into the hand mixer. Now, if you guys wait till the end of the video, I will show you another option for doing this. Um, if you want something a lot more sturdy, there is something else that you can use other than a paper towel roll. So make sure you stay till the end. So the first thing you need to do is figure out how long you want this. I personally like the paper towel rollers because I can cut them to size and the toilet paper rolls are pretty small, so it doesn't always work. Um, so I only need about three quarters of this. So I just cut that off. Okay, so now it's about this long and I'm gonna make a little slice into the paper towel. So we just have a little nick in there so that we can put the yarn in it. So you're gonna take your yarn on the outside and you're just gonna kind of shove it in there, make sure it's in there pretty good. Then I like to wrap it around like two or three times just to get it going. Now, the fun part. So now you're gonna take your whisk um, and make sure this is unplugged and then you're going to put that in there, make sure it snaps in. Now you're gonna take your paper towel holder or roll and you're gonna shove that in there just like that. Now we just need to turn it on. One thing I wanna mention is if your hand mixer does not have one of the slow settings, like a stir setting, be careful because this will go really, really fast and it can become uncontrollable if you're not paying attention. Pretty much you wanna hold it in the middle for a few seconds and then you can start moving the yarn back and forth um, to let it kind of fill up. So here we go, we're gonna turn it on, you ready? So you can see it's starting to wobble a little bit, so just make sure, you might have to stop it every once in a while just to make sure it's in there. Also, make sure you stay about an inch away from the ends because as it starts to fatten up, it could slide off the end. So it's starting to wobble a little bit, so we're gonna check it one more time. Now, if you have a mixer with a slower setting, you're probably not gonna get that wobble um, because it'll just go sm more smoothly. Now, it just got stuck because those knots that I was telling you about that you get randomly, I just got one. So I'm gonna need to stop for a second and untie this. Um, get this knot out, and then we can continue um, rolling this up. One thing I wanna mention is when it starts getting fat in the middle, try to avoid the ends altogether and just keep it in like a like one and a half to two <clears throat> inch space in the middle uh, because the rings will start to fall off the end and it becomes a mess. So you just want it to be really fat and round in the middle. There we have, in probably, I wanna say two minutes or less, everything has been rolled onto here and now we can just take that off and now you have this nicely rolled ball of yarn. So another trick you can do is get a bucket with some holes and a dowel and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the middle here and I'm gonna put the dowel through the bucket, through the toilet paper holder, and then out the other side, if I can find it, there we go. So now it sits in here in the bucket and when you want to crochet or knit and you're pulling it, look how easily it comes off. So much nicer than trying to pull it out of like a big knotted ball of yarn. This only took two minutes. 
The last time I rolled a ball of yarn, I swear it took me almost an hour. So this is a huge time saver. If you don't want to use a paper towel roll or maybe you don't have them very often, um, using a PVC pipe is a lot more sturdy than a paper towel roll. Um, so what you'll need for that is just a half inch PVC pipe. It originally was like this, a really big piece, and I cut it into thirds. So you want it to be anywhere from six to eight inches. Um, this one is eight inches. And then we put a little slice in it. You can see right here, if I can zoom in. You don't have to do that though. You can just tape the yarn to it if you don't want to have that little slice in there. You will also need a drill because this is not going to fit in here, obviously. My boyfriend is actually in the construction field, so he we have tons of these, and I look like a crazy person with this. But you just need a drill bit that will fit inside of this, so I want to make sure it's not the cracked side. And it doesn't have to go all the way in, it just has to be enough where it's like snug. Um, then you would put the yarn in that spot, that little crack, or like I said, tape it. Um, and then the same thing. Now what's nice about the drill is that you can control the speed whereas with the mixer it was just going like crazy fast. So this one I can go like really slow. I can go fast if I want. <laughs> so that will do the same thing um, and then the dowel that I got will also fit in the end of there. I don't know if you can see that. But this will have the same exact effect. Um, you just kind of keep spinning it around until it's done. So this one is a little, this will definitely be more sturdy for you. If you have your own way of rolling yarn or maybe a fast way, I would love to hear about that in the comments. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can see the next video.